some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in the county of Westchester, New York, as Auditing Erie County attempts to, well, do its frauditing thing at a local government building and, well, is physically thrown out twice and once again denied entry for the third time and then wants to file a complaint on the officers that did so. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this freaking S show on the road, shall we? Alright, down the street here, it's a little windy. I don't know how the wind noise is going to be for y'all, but we got the Westchester County Office Building, which has the rest of the offices in it. So, let's go ahead and get inside. How's it going? Pretty good. How are you doing? Good help you. Uh, let's go up to the county building and get some photographs of some of the offices, publicly accessible areas. Sorry? Uh, let's go up to the publicly accessible areas of the, lot, the county building here. Public accessible areas? Yes. That's the only public accessible area would be uh, the HR department, which is on this floor at the well, end. Oh, Veteran office. Affairs. Sorry? Veteran Affairs, County Legislative Chambers, stuff like that. By appointment only. If you have a specific uh, business up there, if you have something specific to handle, you can go up there. Other than that, the only public uh, area is the HR. Yeah. And we do need your ID to get in. Please sit in the you need your ID to get into this building? Yes, sir. Why is that? I already know what you're going to say, Frauditor, because I had to sit through an hour of this BS on here. And I'm not going to show the entire hour because most of it is quite boring, as per usual with these Frauditors. But Frauditor, if it was truly a Fourth Amendment violation, wouldn't you think that it would already been taken to the Supreme Court and taken care of? You know what? If you have that issue, go ahead and take it there and see what happens. In fact, the Fourth Amendment only really says your personal property and everything like that. It doesn't say anything about, about it being unconstitutional to show your ID when you enter a uh, public building because, you know, your ID is not your property to begin with. It is a government-issued ID for when you get your driver's license or when you can't get a driver's license but you still need an ID to get into certain places. You know, that kind of thing. Uh, those are the rules. What if somebody didn't want to waive their Fourth Amendment rights to come into the building? Yeah, let me, let me provide you the, uh, we have reasons for that, and we provide you the you have room. You have reasons around the Fourth Amendment of the United States Constitution? Hey, Daniel, I know you don't give a flying shit about the U.S. Constitution, considering that you uh, contributed to the attempted coup on the United States a couple of years ago because you didn't like the results of the election. So, yeah, you don't give a shit now, do you? Uh, well, I'm not an attorney. You can feel free to uh, you know look it up or consult one. I'm just going to provide you what we're told to do, and uh, I don't make the rules. So up. nobody gets past this gate here into the county building without showing ID. Unless you have an appointment in the building first, and then if you do have an appointment, we still have to verify who you are. So here you go. Any questions? Oh, I don't want your unconstitutional policy. I'm sorry. I don't want that. Well, this is the protocols for the building here, so you were asking questions. So here you go, sir. Any further questions, you can refer to the county attorney's office. Yeah, just sue the county. For our fourth, we just got to sue the county attorney for our Fourth Amendment rights hey, back that, around that's here. That's your right. That's your right, sir. Wow. Right, step off to the side, please. I, I'm ready to go in. That's not going to happen. So I can't go in? You have an appointment with somebody in this building, sir? No, I'm a journalist taking photographs you of the building and, and the stuff that's publicly building. accessible in here. And there's lots of offices that are publicly accessible. Excuse me, step off to the side. Somebody with legitimate business is here. So you're saying journalism is not legitimate business? A thousand frauditors have tried before you and a thousand frauditors before you failed at uh, trying to do this, especially Sean Paul Reyes, who attempted to go to the Supreme Court over this and ended up uh, falling flat on his frauditor face. And besides, you're not a legitimate journalist anyway. You don't have the ethics for it. Hell, like I said before, you tried to overthrow the U.S. government when you didn't like the results of the election. So go take your traitorous ass and whine and cry and complain to the, your uh, pillow that you like to hug every night. Hello, sir. Where are we headed to? Uh, Jerimo. Jerimo. For the ID card. Jawanio. Jawanio, Jawanio. Something like that. Those guys, they, they kept somebody's license. <laughs> no, 
they got their little Fourth Amendment violation system going here. They're keeping people's lives. <laughs> this guy is fucking stupid. Hey, you lead paint chip eating freaking douchebag moron. They are not taking his ID permanently. They're going to give it right back to him in the next couple of seconds. And boy, just you wait and see because it's not a seizure. It's just checking his ID just to make sure everything is kosher. So get bent, you dumbass. See what I mean? They gave his ID right back to him. They didn't uh, confiscate it or anything like that. They gave it right back to him. All right, sir. If you do not have any business in the building, this is not a case. Oh, I got business. Photo photographs is my business. Okay. All right. Alright, if you don't have any other business, I do. To the building. I do, I have business, official business. I'm sorry? I have official business. What's the official business and with who? Right now I'm filming law enforcement. That's not and official business. That is official business. You know what the Right to Record Act is? Sir. Oh yeah, I've read the Right to Record Act, but have you really dove right into it? Because it says right here, you have the right to uh, film the police officers in the state of New York to make sure that... Uh, well, they're falling under the color of law. And here's a definition of the color of law right here, uh, Daniel. Uh, you might want to take a look at it. In fact, these examples right here show what the color of law is all about. So are any of these officers actually violating the color of law or anything like that? No, they're not. You can leave now. This guy putting on gloves. He's going to throw me out for recording him. If you don't have business in the I building. I do have business. I told you I have business. I'm here sir, to take photographs of the county building. This isn't. Let's go. Don't touch me. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Here. Come on. Let's go. Don't touch me. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Here. Come on. This isn't. Let's go. Don't touch me. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Here. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. Sir, I'm filming you. Do you understand that? I have the right to film you. Whether we're, I'm in public filming you. Why are you raising Because you just took my park property from me unlawfully. Liar! Oh my goodness, dude. You are such a freaking liar. In fact, the video right here shows that uh, both of you had uh, your hands on the camera and you ended up taking control of it. And even if he had uh, taken it from you, he probably would have given it right back back to you so it was never taken from you because it was never seized so yeah you might want to rethink your words because it makes you look like a pathetic little frauding liar it's, you just it's touched in your hands and my it? property unlawfully I you removed you. me from an office unlawfully i have a recording right Good. now recording right well, now. i'm not done recording you so you in the course of your building. duty you can come on i don't need to exit the building i have a right to be here this isn't a public waiting area all right, well, you're right. here you and I have wanna, the right to film you. You didn't want to take- I have the right to you film you. You didn't want to take the paperwork that I handed you. No, I don't, want to, I don't want to give let's up go. my license and my rights to be here. All right, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. I don't want to give let's up go. my license and my rights to be here. All right, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. I don't want to give up let's my go. license and my rights to be here. All right, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Now let's go for round two of this whole fiasco. Auditing Erie County re-enters the building and tries it again with the exact same results. A little longer than a few minutes later. What would I do for request for like the camera footage in here? What's that? The camera footage in here. What would I do? Download request? a form. Download the form and then you can set up an appointment with the county attorney's office. I can't do it here in person right now? No. That'd be a violation of the law as well. 
right here. Explains everything, but you refuse to take this from me. Is it? This is the second time you're refusing to take wanna, this from me. I want to file, file a FOIA request now. And this will explain how to do it. Yeah, I can do it right now, though. I want to do it now. Not unless you have the form already. Person. Not unless you, you have the have form already completed. It. Not unless you have the form already that's completed. Not that's not true. It's not the law. That's here you go. Law. Here you go. You are beyond. This is the third time I'm offering it to you right now. I don't need that. This, this will answer this what you, your unlawful rules that you guys wrote All up. the questions that you're asking me right now, here's the answer, sir. Once again, Frauditor, if you think something is unlawful or unconstitutional, you know there is a solution to that. It's called the courts. But of course, uh, you want to uh, push your weight around here. You want them to do everything your way. You want them to basically bow down and lick your boots. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but that sure as hell is not going to happen here. It's the fourth time now you're refusing it. Correct? I don't want it. I'm so you're refusing this? I refused it a hundred times for okay. the record. Right? Right. I don't need that. Okay. I'd like to do a full request now in person via New York State law, FOIA law, allows me to do it in person on the spot. You have a completed form. I would gladly call somebody for you. I, you guys got to perform, provide these forms. Well, I don't have to provide that form to you. We'll call someone up and get, have them provide me a form. Sorry, sir. There you go. doesn't work that way here. I thought you guys don't follow the law at all, huh? There you, there you go. Right here. Right here. No, no. Here you go. Right here. Right here. So your viewers can see. This so is, your viewers can see. This isn't. This so isn't, your viewers can see. Here you go. The viewers want to see a piece of shit cop like you. Get hey, listen. Let them. Let them read this too. Let them read this too. So here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Doesn't work that way here. I thought you guys don't follow the law at all, huh? Here you, here you go. Right here. Right here. No, no. Here you go. Right here. Right here. So your viewers can see. So your viewers can see. This is a, this so is your a, viewers can see. Here you go. The viewers want to see a piece of shit cop like you. Get hey, listen, let them let them read this too. Doing. Let them read this too. So here you go. Here you go. Right. Oh, you traitorous frauditor. Would you do that with the U.S. Constitution as well? Oh, yeah, you did do that with the U.S. Constitution several years ago. Right there. Appreciate it. Thanks for that. I appreciate it. I right. it. Now you can't cover my camera anymore. I don't know. I, I've been in front of you the whole time. Did you so, cover but, my camera? I'm asking you why you guys think you're above the law here. Who said we're above the law? You did. You said you're not going to help me. I'll do one in person right now. How is that me telling you I'm above the law? Because the law states I can do it in person. I can come here and fill out the full request so in person. Why did they get rid of here in person? I'd like sure, to fill come with the completed form. No, that's not what the law states. Then I'm sorry. There's, there's, there's the nothing law. I can do about that's that. That's why then. you guys think you're above the law. Because there's nothing I can do about that. Good, that's the problem. Right? You don't know the law, and that's why you think you're above uh, it. And there's nothing I can do about that. Yeah, it, there's nothing so, you can do about that. Step back out into the vestibule, sir. Step back out into the vestibule, and you wait for my supervisor. That's what you wanted. You waiting for my supervisor? Let's go. No, this is the way of anybody. This is the entryway right here. Well, you're standing in the entryway. Right? Mean, I work here. Right. Let's go. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a resident. Sir, I'm giving you a lawful order right now to clear the entryway. What lawful order? To I'm clear the, the entryway. To clear the entryway. I'm not in the entryway. Sir, you can in step the out into the vestibule and you can I'm wait not over there. In the entryway. Sir, the only way in the entryway is you. Sir, you can kindly wait out there in the entryway. More than welcome to. Go ahead. Why can't I wait here? I'm waiting for the supervisor. You are in the entryway. I am not. I'm not blocking any entryway. Sir, you can wait out in the vestibule. Why can't I wait here? Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Slamming my camera and shit, dude. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Slamming my camera and shit. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Slamming my camera and shit, dude. Shit, dude. You're definitely filing a lawsuit on you, Paul. You are definitely getting a lawsuit. Wait, right. Get your sergeant Excuse out me. here. Don't follow me. I, I, I'm in public. What don't you understand right about that? I'm in public. You, you're a clown, is what you are. Now, there's an extreme uh, long period of time between this incident and the final time he is barred from the building. But in between that period of time, there is a uh, supervisor that comes along and he gives the frauditor a complaint form and he fills it out and uh, everything like that. But you know what? He still is not granted access into the building and he leaves empty handed. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage, shall we?
Many, many minutes later. Daniel, is it right, Daniel? Right. Is there anything else you need from us? Because we're, we don't generally sit, sit here. No, no, no. So like, I know you, no, you want to like, film, but I, that's fine. You can film right here, it's fine. I'm just saying, if you, you can hang out here. If no, you want, I'm, I'm, not I'm out of here. Hang out I'm out of here. here. You good? I wish I would have been right, somewhere about an hour ago. Be safe, dude. Have a good time. Is your card? Awesome. I don't usually hand those out, but you're, you're a pretty decent guy. I like it. Appreciate but, that. Thank you. And I just, honestly, I don't, I'm not a police hater. I don't, all right? But in the future, I hope that you can just be a little more professional about it. Listen, I mean, like, Dale Officer Law is one of our exemplary cops that we have here, so. I like I like uh, police. I like to be able to think everybody should be able to want to call them and stuff. But the last thing they want to do is call the police and have themselves get. And all we want to do is look out for public and people. So, all right. be safe, my man. Have a. And now it is time for the frauder walk of shame. Well, Frauditor, I hope you enjoyed your walk of shame. You certainly earned it with all the lying that you did in this video and the shameful acts of your history that uh, has been discussed by just about everybody. I mean, uh, yeah, dude, uh, you are one of the worst ones out there. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?